What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the best commando builds in all of Fallout 76. We have my in-game stealth commando build. Starting off over the weapons, there are three different commando rifles that we're going to be using for the video. The first weapon on our list is my three-star legendary alien disintegrator, with the main legendary effect being the bloodied effect, which is damage increases up to a plus 95% as your health decreases. It has a plus 25% to weapon speed, and it also has a plus 15 bonus VATS critical charge. Over the mods, we're using the automatic receiver, no muzzle because you do not need a suppressor or anything whatsoever to make this a stealth weapon weapon and the default appearance. Next up, we have my 3-star legendary Elder's Mark, with the main legendary effect being the quad effect, which is a plus 300% to ammo capacity, has a plus 25% to weapon speed, and it also has a plus 250 damage resistance while reloading. Over the mods, we're using the Prime Receiver, Short Light Barrel, Recoil Compensating Stock, Large Quick Eject Drum, Reflex Sight Dot, and the Suppressor. And finally, we have my 3-star legendary The Fixer, with the main legendary effect being the Anti-Armor Effect, which is a plus 50% to armor penetration, has a plus 50% to critical damage, has a negative 25% percent to action points cost and the fixer also has a couple of unique effects which is a plus 40 percent to armor penetration a plus 100 percent to sneaking speed and a plus 15 percent to stealth and shadows over the mods we're using the tweaked automatic receiver aligned long barrel aligned stock perforating magazine reflex sight dot and the suppressor now to begin our demonstration with our all-powerful stealth commando build, we've made our way over to the one, the only, the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name of Leroy. We're first going to start off with the alien disintegrator, then we'll swap over to the other commando weapons. What we're going to do is we're just going to wake him up real quick. There we go, we got an 89, a 161, a couple 161s. Now we're going to get the most amount of damage with this build inside of that, so here we go, a couple shots. We got 321, 321. 321, 321. Now let me just lay into him. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. And just like that, this behemoth is no more. Now we've made our way back to our level 100 glowing behemoth, but this time we have the Elder's Mark. We're just going to shoot him a couple more times, and then we are going to lock onto him fast, just like before. Look at that. 52, 52, 46s. 64, 62. 100 and a 101. All right, now lock onto that face and absolutely destroy him. Goodbye, you stupid behemoth. Oh, super mutant behemoth, I've made my way back, but we have the most powerful weapon out of the bunch. We have the Fixer. Now, let me just wake him up real quick. We got 194. We got 298. Not bad at all. 298. 298. 298. 298. Now let me lock onto him in vats and shred straight through him. Look at that. How fantastic. We got a 1,036 to finish him off. The next Wasteland Buffoons on our list to fill the wrath of our commando build are all the disgusting super mutants located at the West Tech Research Center. And we're first going to start off with this guy right here. Goodbye, you stupid super mutant. Uh oh, oh, we got a suicide. Let me just take him down real quick. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. Now, the only thing about the automatic receiver on this is, well, that ammo capacity kind of sucks. We do have 40, but it shoots super fast so you go through it. Now, if you have a quad one of these, it'll be way better, but this blooded one is absolutely insane. Look at that damage. Absolutely ridiculous. Get out of here, you stupid... Oh, you got a guy back there? We'll go ahead and kill him, too. There we go. Now, get out of here, you stupid hound. Outside of that, there we go. Just shredding through these guys. Hello, brethren. You want to feel the power of the stealth commando? Sir, 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 where you at? Sir, I see you. There you are. Hey, you. You want to feel the power of the stealth commando? Oh, missed. Here we go. Got a couple of bat shots to the face. And two sixty ones to finish him off. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We've got one more super mutant warlord. Goodbye, you stupid fool. Making our way back through the West Tech Research Center now, but this time we have our Elder's Mark. And we're going to shred right through this guy. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. Oh, brethren. I'm coming through to destroy you. And, oh, God. Whoopsie daisy there. I was going for the, the legendary. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, is he right there? Yep, that little two-star legendary. Goodbye, you stupid fool. All right, just gotta stay healed real quick. Make sure I don't die. Oh, brother in. You wanna feel the power of the Elder's Mark? Here we go. Goodbye, you stupid hound. We got another legendary. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh-oh, uh-oh, watch out. Excuse me, coming through. Hello, brother. You wanna feel the power of the Elder's Mark? Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got a warlord right here. Vatch shot. We got 368, 171, and a 308 to finish him off. Okay, we got this guy back here. We're gonna kill one inside of Vats, which he's now dead. And now for a non-Vats target. He is also dead. Making my way back through the West Tech Research Center, and now all of these stupid super means are gonna have to feel the wrath of the fixer, starting with this guy. Goodbye. There we go. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh oh, oh, just gotta be careful. We got these guys over here looking at me. Just don't look at me. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Hello, brother back there. You wanna feel the power of the okay, you cannot withstand the power of the fixer. What about this guy right here? Fantastic. We're just shredding right through these guys. Uh oh, oh, we got some hounds. Let me get rid of them real quick. There we go. Get them dang hounds out of here. Fantastic. We got a oh, we got a warlord right over here. We also have one right over here to my right. And he's dead now. Oh, brother Reigns. Oh, we've got one more guy. I think that's the last guy. Let me make sure. Yep, that's the last guy. Hello, brother. You wanna feel the power of the fixer? You, sir. 
No, I'm not gonna come out of hiding. Here we go, we're gonna shoot him in the leg. And just like that, our legendary warlord is no more. Now, over in our build, these are the base stats that make up our in-game stealth commando build, so if you want to use the exact build I was using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary pair cards equipped. Over in the normal pair cards, these are the normal pair cards that make up our in-game stealth commando build. Starting off in strength, we have 6, and this one can have traveling pharmacy at 3 stars. Weights of all kims, including stim packs, are reduced by 90%. We have blocker at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. Over in perception, we have 15, and this one can have all the commando cards maxed out to get the max amount of damage on this build. We have ground pounder at 2 stars. Automatic rifles are reload 20% faster and have an even better hit fire accuracy. We have tank killer at 3 stars. Your rifles and pistols ignore 36% armor and have a 9% chance to stagger. We have concentrated fire at 1 star. That's now targets limbs. Focus fire to gain accuracy and damage per shot. Over in endurance, we have 13 and this one can have fireproof at 3 stars. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have radical at 1 star. The greater the rads, the greater the strength. A max plus 5 to strength. We have Rejuvenated at 2 stars. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed or fully hydrated. We have Kinfeed at 2 stars. Any Kims you take lasts 60% longer, and we did take Overdrive and Psycho Tats in this video. We have Ironclad at 5 stars. Gain 50 damage and energy resistance while not wearing power armor. Over in Charisma, we have 6, and this one can have Filter Gen at 1 star. Stim Packs and Radway will now work much more quickly. We have Tenderizer at 3 stars. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. We have Stranger Numbers at 1 star. Positive Mutation Effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are all also mutated. Over in Intelligence, we have 6 and this one can have Nerd Rage at 3 stars. While below 20% health, gain 40 damage resist, 20% to damage, and 15% to AP regen. We have Gunsmith at 3 stars. Guns break 30% slower and you can craft tier 3 guns. Over in Agility, we have 15 and this one can have Adrenaline at 5 stars. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. We have Action Boy at 3 stars. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Cover Operative at 3 stars. Your range attacks do an additional 50% sneak attack damage. We have Sneak at 3 stars. You are 75% harder to detect while sneaking. We have Escape Artist at 1 star. Sneak to lose enemies and running no longer affects stealth. Over in Luck, we have 15 and this one can have Bloody Mess at 3 stars. 50% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gore red paste. We have Starch Genes at 2 stars. You will never mutate from rads and Radway will never cure your mutations. We have Better Criticals at 3 stars. Vats Criticals now do plus 100% to damage. We have Serendipity at 2 stars. While below 30% health, gain a 30% chance to avoid damage, no power armor. We have 4 Leaf Clover at 3 stars. Each hit Vats has an excellent chance to fill your critical meter. And we have Critical Savvy at 2 stars. Critical hits now only consume 70% of your critical meter. Over in Legendary Pair Cards, these are the Legendary Pair Cards that help make up our in-game commando build. Starting off in Strength, we have that card maxed out, we have Endurance maxed out, Intelligence maxed out, Luck maxed out, Fall Through maxed out, and Far Flung Fireworks at 3 stars. These are the Legendary Pair Cards, now let's get into my Armor, Buffs, and Mutations. Over in the armor, what I'm using is a full set of Unyielding Gear, which gives me a gain up to plus 3 to all stats except Endurance when low health, and since we're a low health bully build, this is absolutely amazing. Over my backpack, what I used is my trusty normal backpack with a high capacity mod to get a plus 120 to our carry weight. Over in the Under Armor, what I'm using is my shielded Secret Service Under Armor to get a plus 4 to our strength, a plus 2 to our perception, and a plus 4 to our endurance. Over the mutations, these are the mutations that we use for the build. We have Adrenal Reaction, Bird Bones, Eagle Eyes, Egghead, Healing Factor, Herbivore, Marsupial, Skull Skin, and Speed Demon. Over in the buffs, starting off with our food buffs, we're using Mute Fruit Juice to get a plus 2 to our agility, Simple Firm Flower Tea to get a plus 2 to our strength, Tato Juice to get a plus 20 to our max AP, Blight Soup to get a plus 100% to our critical damage, Carrot Soup to get a plus 4 to perception, and of course a perfect bubblegum that way our hunger and thirst mirrors do not increase. Over in our Kim buffs, we're using Overdrive to get a plus 13% to our critical damage, and Psycho Tats to get a plus 1.35 to our perception, damage resist increase, and a plus 11% to our damage. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the best weapons in all of Fault 76, the Holy Fire. So if you want to check it out, I'll link it in the screen right now you see that. That is my Holy Fire video.